Look at that, honey. Oh my God, the water clarity today is fantastic. Beautiful. That's the best it's been. And it's supposed to be a shocker of a day. You just don't know. Oh, wow. It is like a postcard. <laughs> Paradise. <laughs> he, they fish every day, I reckon. I've got to get talking to him. He's always in there. He's fixing his rods or he's doing something. But as we know, it can look beautiful like this, but it doesn't mean you're going to get any fish. It looks good though. It's, so, it's a bit sideways. The wind. It's almost on our backs at the minute. So today we're going to go around the rocks. Last time we fished in this area, here. And we set up our stuff here. Can you walk around the scrub? Excellent. Wow, lovely view of the beach from here. Lovely, wow, what a place. Good to have long pants on. For this, it's very scratchy, but it's too warm. I don't know if this will be a standalone video. See how much of it <laughs> we catch. <laughs> it could be a standalone, because we said we went around to the rocks and we caught nothing. <laughs> you can see the whole of Dolphin Bay from here. So we fished this bit, we fished that bit. This is lovely. As Martin said, there probably won't be much wind behind these blocks. So we're walking around the cliffs now. Wow. Wow, so this is where we're going to fish. This area here. Yep. I think you're right, it's going to be really sheltered. The wind's going straight out. How pretty is it as well? Could be a thumbnail from up here. Wow, this is nice. We probably have to do float fishing because it looks like there's a lot of submerged rocks in this area. But with the wind on our back, that is no problem. We've just been hearing from people on the beach that there's really no fish around today, this morning anyway. So I don't have high expectations of catching anything, but it's very happy to be trying. My knees are telling me about it. We've been doing this kind of fishing now for nearly two weeks. And my knees are like creaky as. So I've got to be super careful. Look at this. This is like paradise. There's no wind at all down here. Wow. <laughs> Love it. That was not a hard walk at all. But you just need to make sure you've got some decent shoes on. Martin, this is paradise. You're right about this spot. Hi, it's Fishing Sister. Today we've come around again to Dolphin Bay. We were here the other day fishing off the beach and Martin came around and looked at the rocks and thought there's this perfect secluded spot to fish for perhaps Tommies or something like that. So we've come back today. It's southeasterly wind, which is the same as it was off the beach the other day. And we've come down here into this lovely little spot to try for Tommies using boat rigs because there's a lot of submerged drops and also just we'll see what else we can catch but it's perfect today look at this and the water is so clear today wow oh Martin you really picked a good one wow this is a little piece of paradise Dolphin Bay okay so I'm using my fantastic telescopic rod today which I love you can come in here with your rod you don't have to carry a big rod try a few different things but first i think i'll just go gents on a float rig to start with anyway i'm going to put gents on a rig with a barrel float just got the one hook size six long shanked hook if i can get that out far enough it should get blown along nicely by the breeze something out there it's probably a sweep or something that's not very useful but still who knows it looks a little bit like a tommy 
catch Tommy's. I'm very happy with that. That was another good bite. Didn't stay on. It was a good one. Took it right under the water. under then like completely under little silver sand whining martin there's no minimum size for these but wow that's a bit small <laughs> so that one can go back they're so beautiful though That is so gorgeous. Another little silver whiting, how beautiful. That one's going back. No way! Martin! If only you could get bigger ones. Martin's just caught his third one. So there we go, the third little silver whiting. Fishing charter, very nice. If I can get another Tommy. <laughs> yeah, there's Tommies out there, the water's starting to move. See that over there? Ah, oh, lost it. Nearly got it in. They're just up at the back a bit. Like took off with it, but let go. That's a bit better, that size. Looks like it's about 22 centimetres, Martin. How's that? Nice Tommy. That's definitely a keeper, I think we'll be eating that one. Perfect. On then. <laughs> yeah, it was chasing me in. Nice one. Not as good as the last one. I was just saying, you're not going to catch one in this close. They, they're out further, so I started to bring it in and it rushed in and hopped on. A bit smaller, we'll keep this one for bait. This one will keep us bait.
Oh, I love being able to watch them come in like that. <laughs> so cute. Another little one that might keep the bait. Wow, look at this place. Oh, it's so beautiful. So when the float goes under the water, usually means you've got one on. Is it still on? No. Oh yeah. They're so feisty. Martin, that's not too bad. Nice work. So today we had a bit of a walk around the rocks to get to this spot. So we traveled light. We didn't bring a bucket. We're going to put our little Tommies in a keeper bag to, to bring those back to the car. And we used our extendable rods as well, our telescopic rods, so that we weren't lugging around our big rods around to this spot because you've got to watch your footing around the track. So today we used our um, rigs for catching Australian herring and we have done a video on how to make those which you'll see in the description below how to find that video. Essentially it's a float rig so it's got the float, the ball float in this case, burly spring so really small hooks. These ones that Martin were using were size 10. I was using size 6. I was losing quite a lot of mine, so maybe I should have had these smaller ones. Size 10 or 6 or 8 long shanked hooks with gents and lots of burley. And they're so much fun. So what an incredible place, Dolphin Bay. These rocks, the walk around to these rocks was only 10 minutes from the main beach. We've got the most stunning autumn day, hardly any wind, super calm. But you've really got to be careful when you're fishing off the rocks. Be really careful with your footwear. We've got really sturdy boots on. And also be careful of um, the conditions with the waves that can come in and freak waves that can sweep you off the rocks. Today we've just had it perfect. You couldn't get better on this autumn day. Very lucky. So most of the Tommies that we caught were quite small. We might use them as bait or we might smoke them because when you've got small fish, that's a beautiful way of eating them, especially Tommies, because they taste great. Stick them in the smoker and it doesn't matter if they're small, you can just pull the fish off of the bones without you know, really having to do much with them at all except gut them. So that's probably what we'll do with them. This is Fishing Sister saying goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>